Roxy. And I'm Paris. And we're so happy to have you here. Also, we know that we are totally imagined right now. A little bit. And these are actually our little brother's t-shirts. So. But we were so lazy to find it, like clothes, <laughs> so we were just like, yeah, this is gonna work. Great. So in today's episode of Hashtag Study Sunday, we'll be sharing with you seven things that you are probably doing wrong while studying. And we'll be suggesting what you should be doing instead. So let us get on with it. So the first thing that you're probably doing wrong is studying on a bed. So when you're studying on a bed, trust me, you're gonna feel way too comfortable and you'll probably end up sleeping or just getting drowsy and none of the information that you're learning is gonna to stick in your head so you need to completely get off that bed don't even look at it the bed does not exist in your room so you need to set up a really good desk area that's going to motivate you to get everything done and that way you won't have to think about your cozy bed and trust us you'll be so much more productive and we actually do have a video that highlights all of your study desk essentials and ways to create the perfect study space so it will be linked in above as well as down in the description box so tip number two please get the red bull and energy drinks and five hour energy boost shots things out of your mind these things are just temporary fixes. They aren't going to benefit you in any way because what happens is that you will crash eventually. And we noticed some people actually shake in their exams. Yeah, I had a friend who used to take one before every exam and by her last exam, she could not even write. Like her hands were like off the hook. Exactly, because those things mess up your system so badly. So anything with high levels of caffeine and like that coffee that you really want to drink, you should put that away because those lead to dependency and like we said, burn out. So you should instead drink something like green tea because it has chemical in it that will help you to like de-stress as well as retain a lot of information so the third thing that you're probably doing wrong is studying straight through the night and we've been there we know how it is you think you have to go straight through the night to get everything done but let me just tell you that's not as productive as just sleeping for at least one or two hours because your brain actually needs that time to consolidate all the information that you've learned so if you go straight from studying 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 and you go to school and write the exam you won't do as good as if you take some time to just get some rest and let your brain sort everything out and that way you'll be able to answer all of the questions so much better and have a clearer head in the exam. So tip number four is studying with friends and we know that you'll be like what are we talking about here but wait for it. Basically when you're studying new information it's not advisable to study with friends. You need to first have an understanding of the subject yourself before you try to go and learn something with a group of people. Also when you're now learning something everybody understands it's a little bit different and some people will get confused and you really don't want yourself to get confused while trying to learn new info. It can be very distracting because you could end up doing everything else but studying. And another thing that happened to me was that like if I'm studying a new topic for the first time and somebody else in that group knows that topic better, when they start like explaining and stuff and answering questions, I start to get like panic attacks and anxiety and think, oh my god, I, I don't know this properly, what am I doing? And this just messes up your mind and studying is a lot of mind over matter. So you want to just take that time to learn new things on your own and get your own understanding of the concept. So the first thing that you're probably doing wrong is studying with a lot of distractions around you. So that's like social media, of course. TV as well as loud music is actually recommended that you listen to instrumental music as opposed to music without lyrics because that can like have you sing along to the lyrics instead of sing along to your math girl. <laughs> so create a study area where you will have minimal distractions and less temptations because it is going to help you in the long run. Just stay focused and motivated on what you have to do. So the sixth thing you're probably doing wrong is not studying from all of your available resources. I know that some people only look at what a lecture material has but chances are if you don't understand that well, there are alternatives. You can go to the library and get some textbooks. You can find information online. You can watch YouTube videos. Anything that can help you understand it a little better. And a lot of people actually tend to study from their notes alone without going back to the textbook when the textbook actually has so much information and the bulk of what you actually should be learning. So definitely don't forget about that textbook. So maximizing the use of your resources is going to make it so much easier to answer questions because you'll have such a broad spectrum of what you could possibly answer. So instead of just answering using only that one paragraph in your lecture, you're able to answer so much more comprehensively and you, you're probably gonna get a little extra marks too. <laughs> you will. So the last thing that you're probably doing wrong is not quizzing yourself. So one way that you'll actually know if you understand something is by testing yourself. So studying something and actually answering it are two different things because you might study something but you might not know how to apply the knowledge that you actually learned to, to answering a question. So by quizzing yourself you'll actually know what you really have to learn and what you probably have to review and that's how you know for sure if you'll understand a topic. So there's so many ways that you can actually do this. You can quiz yourself by writing down 
paper questions and then trying to answer them. You can also do past paper questions. You can do online quizzes. So if you just type in quizzes on photosynthesis, I don't know why I always get <laughs> like photosynthesis. <laughs> She's a plant. <laughs> you can just type in that info word and you'll get quizzes and a bunch of past paper questions. You can do questions at the back of your very own textbook. Sometimes those actually repeat. So just try to expose yourself as much as possible to ways where you can test your knowledge and that way you'll be sure to ace your exam. Okay, so that is a wrap for this episode of Hashtag Study Sunday. We really hope that you like it. <laughs> she was, she was started good saying it. Good okay, so we really hope that you liked it. And if you did, give it a huge thumbs up for more like this. So don't forget to subscribe. The button is right underneath us so you won't miss any of these amazing Study Sunday tips. And also don't forget to check out our last video which is at this corner. And it is things that you need to have while you're studying. So thank you so much for watching and we'll, we'll see, see you in the next video. video. Bye. Mwah.